General Dynamics, in cooperation with Hyundai Precision and Industry Companies Limited, have fabricated this mock-up as part of the K1 120 millimeter weapon installation study funded under the Systems Technical Support Contract LSI 8005. The full-scale engineering mock-up was fabricated in order to ensure the adequacy of space available for the three crew members to perform their functions. The mock-up was utilized to check in three dimensions what cannot be verified with two-dimensional layout studies. The introduction of the 120 millimeter weapon along with the new main weapon ammunition stowage provisions have warranted a closer study of the loader's area to ensure that the loader could perform his functions efficiently and safely. The visual demonstration depicts the 5th, 95th, and 50th percentile loaders. This first loading sequence is taken from the PV2 vehicle in order to show the difficulties of loading the current 105 millimeter weapon. This loader is 172 centimeters tall. This is the 5th percentile loader, using a fully weighted round. Note the clearance from his head to the roof. This is the 95th percentile loader. Okay. This is the 50th percentile loader. It can be seen that additional head clearance is available for the loaders to perform their tasks. This silhouette highlights the approximate 10 centimeter of additional headroom and the 75 centimeter increase in turret bustle length for the main weapon ammunition stowage. Based upon the layout studies and the mock-up verification of the loader's ability to efficiently load the 120 millimeter weapon, General Dynamics has established a high degree of confidence that the incorporation of the 120 millimeter weapon system into the K-1 vehicle would be a low risk venture. General Dynamics Land System Division with its extensive experience with the 120 millimeter weapon system believes it can provide for the Republic of Korea a new main battle tank design which will meet the projected threat of the 1990s and beyond. <laughs>